Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am reviewing a cool product. This is a first for me. This is a robotic lawnmower. This is sent to me by the company called Yard Care. This is the M800 Plus, and this is one of their new models. I'm gonna test it, pull it out of the box, and show you everything that it can do, and see if this is something that will help you in your yard. So I don't really wanna to spend too much time on the packaging. I wanna show what this thing can do, I put it in action. But it comes with all your you know, basic stuff. You got your information packet. It comes wrapped, protected very well. Uh, this thing, it's pretty lightweight for, for a robotic mower. But then again, this is my first, so I didn't really know what to expect. So I'm gonna pull it out here, and then the base is under. So this has a docking station, and it's got a charger that's attached to the side here. And you just have to find an outlet outside. They want you to have it in a covered area. I don't have a covered area yet, but I'm gonna make something to put over this uh, base just to keep it protected from the weather. But obviously it can get wet because that's how you clean the unit also. So the only installation required is this QR code, which attaches to the end of the base here. There's just two simple screws. And that's what uh, the camera on the vacuum will see. And that's how it knows that that is home and it'll pull in and recharge itself. And this uh, platform also comes with four long uh, grass screws, basically. You put the base down and you put the four screws in there and it kind of just helps it sit on the top of the lawn a little bit more secure. Let's talk about the three different modes this has. So the first mode would be orderly cutting, where it pretty much tries to go in, you know, rows. And then it has random cutting, just as it says random. And then it has spiral, where it kind of goes in circles. So to set orderly, you push the play button and OK just once. If you want it to go randomly, you push the play button twice, then OK. If you want it to go spiral, you press the play button three times, then OK. So I want it to go orderly, so I'm going to once and then OK. So I wasn't 100% sure where I wanted to put the station. So I just kind of put it here because I had an outlet right here real close. And so I charged it here overnight after I opened the package yesterday. And when I started the app, after downloading the app, super easy, it took off. And it went over here. So this thing just got started. And I don't know how well you can show up, it shows on camera, but this thing is in perfect lines. This is way better than I really thought it was going to be. I can hear it cutting. It's like razor blades under there. We get close to the pool. The sensor sees it, stops, and adjusts. It starts to turn. It's going to follow the line it just took. That's pretty cool. So as this mower is doing its job, I'm gonna basically let you know. So my yard, I really feel is perfect for this because I have an, uh, a border everywhere. So I have concrete here, so it's gonna stay off that concrete. Over here, where our old chicken coop, I don't have chickens right now, but I still have the house to border it. I have trim over there. It's gonna stop on the fence line. So my entire backyard has an edge to it. Now, this thing, I wouldn't recommend it for if you have a, uh, your neighbor's grasses, there's no definitive line, it's not going to know when to stop. So you'd have to either put up a temporary border or I don't know, but this works great, but you really need border lines. You need, you need a, 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 you know, a fence or a concrete or something to tell the camera that there's, there's an edge right there and that's where to stop. So while it is mowing, I want to show you a few things. So the front part here, that is where your camera looks. This back part here, that is your rain sensor. So if it starts to rain, it'll go back home. This is an emergency stop button. You just click that, it'll stop. This blue part here, that is the depth that it's gonna cut. So you can 60 max down to 20. And then here's your control panel that holds, uh, you know, six hours, eight hours. We'll talk about that in a little bit.
few more things I want to talk about. You really want to scan the yard before you just turn this thing loose. You want to check for like sticks, check for rocks in the grass. You really don't want this thing running over it. And the grass, it, you don't want to cut grass that's more than 2.36 inches tall. That's going to be a little too difficult for this unit. And you really pretty much want it on a flat surface. You don't want to have an incline of more than 30 degrees because this thing will struggle a little bit if you go over 30 degrees incline. So far it is done from way over there to almost to the black pool box. And I do not want to forget, no, no, no. If you have an animal that leaves landmines, you might want to pick those up too before the mower goes over it. Back to the mower. See, the camera sees it. I'm going to stop, back up, turn. Pretty cool. You know, one cool thing about this robot mower is a lot of mowers, they require a, a yard wire that you have to put around the border of your house and that's how it keeps the robot in your, your yard, basically. This just uses its sensors and the smart camera on the front to know where there's an obstacle, where there's concrete or a fence, and it stops and stays within your boundaries. On the back here, there's a little QR code that's how you, when you download the app, that's how you communicate that this robot is with your app. Also on the side, you see this metal right here? That is where you charge it on the base. Once you have the app downloaded, you find that QR code that's on the lawnmower itself. You scan that with your phone. That will bring you to the app. It's real basic, real simple to understand. You can select your mowing mode and go from there. So once you have your full charge, if I'm gonna select orderly mowing, it'll do that for 40 minutes. Then it'll switch to the next 40 minutes to random mowing. And then once it hits 20%, it'll look for its home. So it has plenty of time to get back home in case it's on the other side of the yard. As it's going along, let's talk about that control panel right there. Here's the close-up of it on the, on the instructions. So it has basically, uh, it's got a two hour button all the way up to 10 hours. So two, four, six, eight, 10. There's a fault indicator. If, there's, if it's having an issue, it'll be blinking on the fault indicator. There's your Wi-Fi indicator, battery level, uh, power button, unlock Wi-Fi, mow shortcut, and okay button. Super easy to use and the manual is really easy to read. Okay, so it just hit the 20% and now it's going back home. Let's see if it finds its home. I think it basically keeps going left around the perimeter until it finds where the base is. You might notice since the beginning of the video, I actually flipped the base around to face uh, the direction it is now. It made it easier for this to come home because again, it keeps going left and left and left until it gets back to the, uh, the home base. I wanna show you something real quick. So basically, if you ever find that it, you're kind of getting like patches in the, in the grass, these things are supposed to swivel, okay? This is your blades. It's like a double-sided razor blade. Uh, the wetter your grass is gonna start packing around where the screws are. So you wanna make sure these are loose. You want these to spin freely. If they start to get tight, see there's some grass under there. You really need to work that out. That way they'll spin freely again and you won't have any uncut patches. Well, I think that's gonna wrap up another video. If you have any questions on this robotic mower, 
please hit me up. I'm happy to answer any questions. In the description, I will put all the information. I will link it to this product. I want to thank Yard Care for sending me this to review. I think it did really good. I think this thing is absolutely perfect. Hold on. Let's get it to stop here. Hello. That's right. Stop, buddy. <laughs> it knows there's an obstacle here. Um, I think this thing is absolutely perfect for not really a big yard, but for a smaller yard. Um, and remember, you want to have good borders. You need to have solid edges. You don't want it to cross into uh, your neighbor's yard because it's not going to know when to stop. But this thing really is worth the money. Um, again, if you have a uh, like a square or rectangle uh, contained yard, this thing is going to save you a lot of time. Just let it do the cutting for you and you're going to be happy. So thanks again for watching another video.